assholes. Bing! Because I have to sync the mic. So, when I start recording... I'll get the water. Huh? I'll get the water. Why? Because you will sync the, the mic. mic. You're fired. You are so cancelled from my life. Like. <laughs> Hi, how are you? It's me, Noah, and this is my best friend. Our... <laughs> Those are our real names? Are yeah, so what we're gonna do today is something that has never been done on this channel before, and that is... A reaction to call me by the <laughs> name. <laughs> 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 oh, I <laughs> Do you want to like have our tattoos in this font? <laughs> Surprise, we're getting tattoos. <laughs> I was distracted by the posters in the background. Nothing have... to do with the shitness Timothy Chalamet. Nothing. Not at all, uh -huh. because you can't be fawning over uh -huh. a person who's playing a character that is 17 I know, years I know. old. Yes, that's true, that's true. I'm just checking for, you know, the, the subtle background things. Like yeah. Easter eggs and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just have a keen eye for these things. Mm -hmm. Timothy looks really good in this shot. You're bigger than your picture. Well, I couldn't get all of me in the photos. <laughs> That line is actually at his mouth is saying he seems very confident, but in his head it's like, who is this? And it, it, wait, who is this? Sassy Elio. Oh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna do a, a Fifty Shades reference. The goddess. <laughs> Cut that out. Wow. <laughs> it smells like PH care. I choose the one that truly cares. PH care. Cool breeze. Yeah, non spots but it's the best one. Extra sensitive to my name. Oliver, very nice to meet you. Thank you for having me in the phone. Oh, I'd like to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen, like, really closely, you can hear people preparing our rooms in hell. Oh, yeah. Tiens, de Oliver apporte ses affaires. Darling, help Oliver, you're gonna fuck him later. Sexual tension. From the beginning. From the beginning. You're very welcome here. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Later. Laters, baby. I Don't! Mean, and one of the biggest questions here that people come to when they watch this movie is like, did Oliver ever really truly return the feelings for Elio? Yes, he did. And you can see it here. Like, he's, he was very tired, but he still tried to do, like, the whole small talk thing. And also, like, he waited for Elio to leave the room before getting comfortable again. You know what I mean? I just noticed that his mom is wearing the exact same thing as Oliver. Are you serious? Look, look. Uh, look at this. <laughs> How embarrassing. One of them has to change now. You know, boys and their mothers. Yeah. <laughs> Melograno. Mm. Have another rack. Is that my top? Ciao. I love how Elio just like stops for a second and he's like, the fuck? Why do you know these people on a first name basis? <laughs> it adds to his intrigue. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. This shit, I'm out. The way he gets off his fucking bike. Who? Who? I don't know anyone cool enough that does that. I know, me too. I remember watching the commentary for this, and Timothy explained that what he was trying to do is like blow a fly from his armpit because there was a little fly there, but because of the angle of the camera, you couldn't see it. So it was weird. It just looks like he's like blowing at his armpit hair. And I'm like, nothing wrong with a little blowing of the armpit hair, to be honest. He wasn't surprised that Elio was there. And Elio was like blatantly gawking. I think he's I think he thinks that he's hiding it so well. It's private. Oh yeah, he definitely thinks that he that he's hiding it, which is Oh you 17-year-old cutie. And what is wrong with Bach? The way Bach would have played Bach. Bach never wrote it for the guitar. 
In fact, we're not even sure Bach would get asked. The way Oliver comes back in with a smile, like, you fucker, I knew you were gonna fucking play it the way Bach should have been played. There are four known sets after the Praxiteles originals. This fellow's at number three. But um, one of the more philistine of the Farnese popes melted them down and had them recast. You should know, like, when they were filming this, they were reacting to nothing. They had to fake those reactions so that they could match the shots together. I don't know. I just thought that associate tried really hard, and I commend him for it. Thank you. Goodness. Are you going to? The father, are you going to? I never get why a smell of someone's undies can turn someone on. Let's talk about that for two hours. I don't really get it. But then again, I'm into some really weird shit. Not this one. Like, yeah, I'll dig up a body before I try this. I mean, what? What did you even say? like even if even Filipino gay themed movies, they always have the smelling of the underwear, especially if it's the young teens. Jesus Christ! He's a bottom. I love that. He knows that he's a bottom for <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> I don't want to go into a whole speech about this because I know I've already written about this on my Tumblr. So if you guys want to like follow me on there, then you'll be able to see this post. But I wrote like a huge post about this, this second long scene. There was a scene in the book that was cut from the movie and it had to do with the two of them sitting down in Elias supposed like table in the garden, right? So it was Elias spot and he was transcribing his music and he accidentally knocks over a glass. Do you remember this scene from the book? Uh, Elio hadn't really suspected that Oliver was observing him. So he was surprised to see that before he could even pick up the glass that he had knocked over, Oliver was right there next to him, picking up the glass for him, then setting it down. Which for me is kind of like how you'll know if someone's been staring at you if you pretend to yawn, and then you'll see that person yawning. That means that they were staring at you the whole time. And since they cut that out from the movie, I feel as though this tiny, tiny shot is just, it's a little gem for the book readers. <laughs> Who the fuck rides a bike like that? This is some advanced level shit! <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen table sure is. <laughs> the mountain. My favorite part about the scene is the sound of Oliver's belt being unbuckled. Now I'm going to Oliver here. Camera memory was full, so we have to do this on my phone. Well, um, my thoughts on this, as always, as, as I've told you off camera before when we first started watching this separately. Yeah, we're, we're friends off camera too. <laughs> I really felt like I'm intruding in someone's private life. I'm watching through someone's eyes. But when I was watching this at home, I had to pause a couple of times just to remind myself that I'm not. I'm, I'm just watching a movie. I felt that. The way they treated that relationship is very respectful in a way. Yeah. And um, it wasn't forced. They didn't feel forced. Everything was so natural. It seems like they were so they were into each other. You're not the first person who said that. Like yeah. obviously there are a lot of shippers out there. Shippers. And and more than just being malicious, I feel like there are people that genuinely believe that I don't wanna get into it. I don't wanna get them? into it. I don't wanna get into it. She is. Um, for me, I would say that the the scene that still holds my attention the most would have to be, uh, obviously, the father's speech. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like as I pick my nose, there's no better time than to, <laughs> than this than to, to, to talk about this. The accepting parent is a very rare character, I've realized. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've watched up until this point, thank you so much for watching. My name is Noah. My name is R. Our real names. Our real names. All of my social media handles, if you want to follow me on those, will be listed here in front of Ark's face. They'll also be in the description below. I'll put his social media links below as well if you want to follow Ark. That's his real name. Also, if you like this content and would like to see more, feel free to subscribe. It's free. It's whatever. And as per usual, we leave you with these wise parting words. Thank you for watching. Who said that? Gandhi, correct.